Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. And this time we're gonna do something we've all wanted to do, chop holes in things. Start with a simple shape and then poke holes into it, whether they go all the way through like this, or only part way through like this, maybe like a bowling ball or something like that. You can see how this hole is carved into the sphere, or this hole goes through the cube. Now we are going to be using sub D, subdivide, to get these shapes as well as keep them soft and smooth. So if you want your sphere to be smoother instead of a gemstone, these are all possibilities. So I'm just going to do a simple hole through a cube, but the principle will work no matter what kind of hole, whether you want it to go all the way through or not. This is how it's going to work. Straightforward way to do this. I'm going to start with a simple cube. So let's get a new cube going. I'm using sub D is active for this. Cube. Now I'm also going to want to make the shape that carves through it. And I'm just going to use a simple skinny cube. Four, four corners to poke it all the way through. Now I don't have to worry about making it perfect at this point. I'm going to be able to adjust it as I build it. So first thing I'm going to do now that I've got these two separate pieces, I'm going to make, where do I want this hole? Easiest way is I'm going to grab this piece so I can edit it and I'm going to add loops. So they go all the way around. So the hole I make on this side should be the same on the back. So I'm going to loop here, 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 and here so that this square is going to be the same on both sides. Save this guy. Now, if I want to, I could even select that surface and delete him. Same all the way through. Grab that surface and delete him. So now you'll notice I've got a hole through my shell. I don't want a shell. I want this to seem solid. So the final step I'm going to do the same with this guy. I'm going to take the ends off so this becomes a tube and then merge them together. So we're going to grab this guy. We're going to edit. We're going to grab the top and delete. We're going to grab the bottom and delete. So that now we have a tube. I'm going to get it close. Doesn't need to line up perfectly. But now I'm going to grab the big sphere, edit, and merge. So you have one of our control options. And I want to merge with the tube. I've now got all their control points. And it's just a matter of con combining the back corners of the tube to the inside of my hole back here, which you can't see because I'm behind the cube. But now I'm come to the front and I'm just going to be joining the corners to the corners. They are now merged as one piece. Save this guy. And now you can see I've got a lined hole through my cube. Since it's a subdivided object, I can really crank up the subdivide if I want to make it nice and smooth and round, that type of thing. But now it's a single piece with a hole through it. So whether you're carving out from a chunk like a bite or a bowling ball or poking a hole all the way through, Gravity Sketch will let us deform the shell and then merge with the center part so that we have the final appearance we're looking for. Chopping holes in items in Gravity Sketch. I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have questions. Give it a try. Try it with different shapes. It's always going to be a sub D so that you